Joe Giglio for NJ Sports now on this Wednesday, May the 20th. The New York Yankees go down last night, but the bigger story is the loss of Jacoby Ellsbury, their leadoff hitter, probably their best all-around player, the guy that ignites them at the top of their order, the guy that plays stellar defense, the guy that runs the bases as well as Ellsbury does. He is out now with a knee sprain. You saw him suffered in the box, stayed in the game, ran it out, got to second base, actually scored a run on a hit by Chris Young, but now Ellsbury to the 15-day disabled list. And as you look at the New York Yankees, yes, still in first place, tied there with the Tampa Rays for the top of the American League East right now, but you could see the cracks forming in a team that has many issues, not just in the short term, but in the long term. And I think you have to go back now to last offseason. Not this past one when the Yankees were relatively quiet, but the one before. Brian Cashman, Yankees general manager, put all his eggs in the basket of four very expensive players and four players he hoped would help the Yankees win and be their catalyst and be their anchors as some older players aged and as they brought some young players along. He needed four players a couple winters ago to be the rocks to build around as guys like A-Rod, to share as Sabathia age, and young guys sort of make their way to the team, like we hear about some prospects they have and some people we'll see as the years come along here. But those four players now all have become major question marks, even the very, very good Ellsbury, who was having an all-star season before this latest injury. Look, Ellsbury, when he's out there, we all know how good he is. He's been very, very good since his days with the Boston Red Sox. But now, you know, this is a guy that's missed almost 300 games over the last five years. Stayed relatively healthy last year. But this knee sprain, especially for someone who relies on his legs, relies on speed, could be a tricky issue for the Yankees. So they lose Ellsbury now, and then you go to the other three. When the Yankees spent all that money a couple winters ago, almost $500 million on four players. Ellsbury to patrol center field. Masahiro Tanaka to be the ace. Brian McCann to be their leader and to be a big bat behind the plate. And of course, Carlos Beltran to be that sage veteran and to be a postseason presence if the Yankees made it back to October. Well, look now. Ellsbury to the disabled list. Tanaka has been nothing but a question mark and injured for almost a full year now. It's been a while since Tanaka burst on the scene the beginning of the 2014 season and in the first half in April, May, and June was probably the best pitcher in the American League or right there with a guy like Felix Hernandez. Now, we still don't know what Tanaka is. We still don't know when he's going to be back. We know a rehab assignment is coming here, and he says he's fine. He throws the bullpens. But until he gets out there and pitches well, pitches effectively, and pitches healthy for two or three consecutive months, it's impossible to count on Tanaka. Then you have the duo of McCann and Beltran, who are becoming, in their own ways, disasters for the Yankees. Look, McCann is everything the Yankees wanted in terms of a leader, is everything they wanted in terms of a clubhouse guy, and is a pretty good defensive catcher, better than I thought he would be. But the guy's OPS is under 700. His offense has declined so much, and Yankee Stadium has not helped him. He is not the offensive catcher that won all those silver sluggers with the Braves. Right now, he's the guy they gave $80 million to that's past his prime offensively. And then you go to Carlos Beltran, who really at this point is being played out and playing himself out of being an everyday player for the Yankees. The more Chris Young hits, and he's a better defensive player right now by a long shot, the more Chris Young hits the less you're going to see Beltron out there, and he can't DH, not with the way A-Rod is hitting right now, and not with the way Beltron's bat has just gone completely cold since he got to the Bronx. The Yankees spent $500 million last year on four players, Ellsbury, Tanaka, Beltron, and McCann. And if you ask them, and if you ask any of their fans, those would have to be the four pillars. Those would have to be the four building blocks to get them through this year and next year until the transition and some of these younger players start coming up. Well, right now, two are on the disabled list, and the two out there are not contributing offensively. The Yankees took a chance. They spent a lot of money. And right now, despite still being in first place, their foundation is on a very shaky ground because those four players continue to be question marks and continue to either decline or just worry you as the years go on. I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports.